Good morning, everyone. Here we are in April already. I hardly know where this year is going. Seems like such a short time ago when I was trying to plan for 2024. I hope you had a good week. So happy you are here with me today on April 5th. Happy Friday. I am Kathy. Welcome to Yarn with Heart. To those who watch every week and to those who have just found me recently, warm welcome to everybody. Um, this week's video will be some events that I will be following in April. Um, the crocheted gift that I made this week and working on my yarn stash, which I think is not quite a stash down 2024. Um, whether I bought any yarn last month in my no purchases month. And uh, during this video, I will end by letting us know who won the giveaway that was mentioned on last week's video. Next week will be about a blanket for the month. It's an update on the Flowers Granny Square Blanket and also information about a hospital in Ontario that accepts donations for crochet or knit or um, quilted children's blankets and a lovely YouTuber, YouTuber who is coordinating the collection of those blankets. I would like to donate a blanket to that cause. And I will pass along news and what channel to visit for more detail next week. Also, again, the gift for the week and um, information about my Ravelry projects. This is a, su a suggestion by Judy. I'd like to give progress on how my Ravelry projects, how many I've entered into Ravelry during March. I will do demonstrations hopefully next week. I have done one demonstration and I have it videoed, but I think this is going to be a very full video today, so I don't think there'll be time to add in that demonstration for this week's video. So if you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss that next video. Uh, next week on the 12th. So to start out, let's talk about stash down. Something that I found out about Judy from Judy's Creations in Crochet is that there are YouTube creators, ones that I've never followed before, um, who have had a stash down challenge and a hashtag. The hashtag was hashtag stash down 2023 and hashtag stash down 2024. One was is named Sam from Manfa's Makes and the other named Queen's Crafts by Bridget. Um, I've checked into this a bit and realized that unfortunately what I am doing isn't quite the same. And so I will not be adding their hashtag on my videos as I'm not following the rules that they have on their challenge. Therefore, I have to disqualify myself. The items that I weigh are not totally in keeping with Bridget's rules. Uh, please let me explain. For anyone who's new, what happened for me was that in August 2023, I was on a live with Angela and I heard that Angela and Kim, Angela from My Precious Yarnery and Kim from Kim Crochets and Knits, they were going to be collecting during the year the ball bands from any of the yarn that they were using. And I thought, oh, I think that sounds fun. But I use a lot of yarns that don't have ball bands. Um, just to see how much yarn one uses throughout the year. 
because much of my yarn doesn't have ball bands, I decided to weigh my projects as soon as they were completed. And I started doing that in August 2023, and I have tracked the yarn that I use in that way. Then, this January, I took things a step further for myself and decided every other month to not buy yarn. January, I lasted 19 days and then made a small purchase. February, I could buy yarn. And, oh, yes, I did. Uh, March, well, in March, I didn't buy any yarn. However, April 1st, I couldn't resist Mary Maxim's reduced shipping. And, well, I made a purchase. So, I barely made it through March. But this one... I made this purchase April 1st. Mary Maxim had such speedy shipping to here. This arrived um, yesterday. So here we go. But I did make it through March without any purchases. Now, the sticky wicket comes when weighing my projects because I am weighing some things that are made with yarn that is purchased in 2024 and this is not in keeping with Bridget's rules and so that's the reason I will not be adding hashtag stash down 2024. For me I will continue as I started this year and will give updates here about how I'm doing each month. For the next update it will be early May and in addition to that I encourage anyone who would like to join hashtag stash down 2024 to visit these ladies YouTube channels. It sounds like so much fun and I will link them both below. So that's the, that's the information I'd like to share about that. What's happening for me here and also an opportunity to join in with that um, stash down event. Now, as to the Mary Maxim yarn, I think I'll see how long this video is, but probably I will open this and show this yarn on a future video so that this video doesn't get too long. But let's see how it goes today. Um, now, events for the month. Now, two events for April are make-alongs. Both are by YouTube creators from Ontario, Canada, and both are ones that I that ask to use colors from inspiration items to spark creativity in a project. A third event that I will be trying will be started in April, but not until April 26th. So I will wait until later to talk about that third one. Of course, the first of these events is Judy's Creations in Crochet, her tropical bird make-along for April. If there is anyone who is considering joining in on this make-along, this month would be a wonderful time to jump in. The colors in this bird's, this bird are beautiful. Also, on her most recent video, Judy reviewed how to enter this make-along and her personal goal. So you could easily, by watching that April 1st video, feel all caught up. And um, she's very close to having 50 entries per month on her slideshow. Her personal goal is to have 50 people participate. So if you ever wanted to join in on that fun, maybe watch her April 1st video and let this be the time when you join along. You can pick one color from the picture or pick a few of the colors from there and send Judy a picture of your, of your project to her email 
by April 28th due date to be part of the slideshow. It, it's a lot of fun. And another that I'm joining just this month is by Crochet with Nona Rosanna. And Rosanna is one of the YouTubers who introduced me to Judy and inspired me to try Judy's Flower of the Month Make Along last year uh, by Rosanna's lovely items that she was crocheting. She makes many items for donation and, Rose, and some of those are for her family. She's very talented at painting and diamond art and also at making stitch markers. It brings me so much joy to see how creative Rosanna is. And this month will be the first time that I try her book cover inspiration crochet along. The book for this month is called Where the Red Fern Grows. It's by Wilson Rawls, and the inspiration picture is on Rosanna's April 1st video. You can use one or more of the colors on the book cover for inspiration to make your project. And I'm thinking that either of these make-alongs would be a wonderful inspiration for my gift cupboard as I try to make gifts each week from now until the end of the year. So that brings me to showing the one item that I have um, to show this week. And this will be my gift of the week. I'm just going to put it on just to show you how it will look. It has buttons to do it up and undo it, but I don't need to, to put it on. There. This one is called the Whimsical Cape Shawl. It's by Sarah Satch. It's a paid pattern on Ravelry and also free on the Posh Pooch Designs web. It's um, been you For this one, I used an eight millimeter hook and the yarn be Arabella yarn. The colors I used were Sea Breeze and Bejeweled. And I went up one size when using this yarn because it was a slightly finer yarn than the one called for. The original pattern I think called for a nine millimeter hook and a different yarn and it just asked for two buttons to be put here at the top. A very nice topper. I decided to do this one with I, this yarn which is cotton and acrylic and I thought that made it more of a year-round topper. There we go. So that's the gift. gift of the um, gift of the week. So now is the time that some of us have been really waiting for. Thank you so much everyone for your kindness and encouragement in the comments. And here is the name of the winner. I'll put it, I think I'll move over here. So I can put it up here. So this is the name of the winner of the stitch markers and a Ravelry gift pattern from me to a value of up to $10 Canadian. I also will include an extra surprise item in the gift as well. If the winner doesn't use patterns, not to worry, we can work something else out when you email me. Just a reminder that YouTube doesn't have anything to do with this gift. And congratulations, Crochet Chick SC. Please email me with your address. My email address is in the description box below. And you will have seven days until end of day, April 12th, to contact me with your address. There will not be a second spin of the wheel if the prize goes unclaimed. 
And thank you so much to everyone for all that we share on this channel and for our YouTube friendships and community. To everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And I hope to see you next Friday.